Hello, we have Carbon up and running already in Tech Preview. I've already went ahead and enabled it in Prism Central. I just wanna show you how easy it is to create a Kubernetes cluster on-prem. You can see that I have one up and running already. So I'm going to create another cluster on our Nutanix gear. Just need to log in using the same Prism credentials. All right. Create the cluster, give it a name, carbon one. I have it tied to one cluster with Prism Central. If I had multiple Nutanix clusters, they would show up here. I can deploy the Kubernetes version that I want to, um, and then I can pick what host version that I want to deploy all of the management and worker nodes. I will pick CentOS, it's my favorite. It's also the same hardened image we use for all of our products. I will pick three worker nodes. I'll just use the defaults here, but, but based on what you're going to deploy here, we'll try to deploy best practices for the rest of the configuration. We are going to deploy the master resources, etcd. I will leave the defaults as well. So a lot of the stuff that you don't really have to worry about, we'll just hit next. We are going to, our network provider is Flannel. We will look to deploy Calico as well as we move to GA, so please uh, keep note of that. We're already using managed networks on HV, which is using our IPAM. So all of the worker nodes are going to get their IPs that way. Super easy to set up and deploy. On the, the service and pod, uh, we can, we'll just use the defaults here. They're just internal networks anyway. We'll hit next, actually. Yeah, we'll hit next. Storage class, we're using our external provisioner here. You could insert the CSI version that we have today yourself. Um, once again, if we had other clusters, we could have a storage only cluster that could definitely be deployed in this environment and use that if we have the space. Plug in the credentials here for this cluster. We'll keep everything on the default container, but you can see that I have actually AFS running on this cluster um, and some other management. So we'll go the default. You can pick your file system of choice, hit create. So developers are going to be freed up. They don't have to wait around for getting their storage if they're doing any type of persistent work. While that's getting deployed, let's take a look at this existing fleet cluster. Look at the storage class. Let's take a look at some of the volumes. So we're already, we have the default storage class, which is the external provisioner. We're using our CSI plugin to deploy a Yugabyte database. And if we look at the add-ons, we have a logging framework already deployed and set up so you can easily monitor your environment. You don't have to go dumpster diving between hosts and pods. Um, so we have some indexing already set up. System D, we have, you can monitor your etcd as well. And we also have just general Kubernetes information. So this is all out of the box, rapid deployment. You know, come and get it, test it out. Um, get ready for GA and your fastest on-prem path to Kubernetes. Thank you very much. Hit us up on the community. We have a channel over there as well. And find us online. Thank you very much.